How would you like to take your dog to school? Meet Harley and Sawyer, the therapy dogs at our school. Meet Mrs. Downing, one of our fourth grade teachers and Harley's owner. What's a therapy dog and how did you come to have one? Um, a therapy dog, um, there are three different usually types of dogs. One of them is a service dog, which is a dog who actually do things to help people like um, watch for cars in a crosswalk. Um, then there's the therapy dog, which Harley is, who um, takes care of people's emotional needs. Um, helps them if they're feeling sad or afraid or anxious or nervous. Um, and then there's like a working um, service type dog, which are like um, the dogs that you see at the airports that are looking for um, helping the policemen with different things. So um, I came to have a therapy dog because um, Harley, as she got older, I've always liked dogs, but as she got older, it seemed to be just really who she was as a dog was really where her strengths were taking her. She had a lot of those characteristics that a therapy dog needs um, already. What training is involved in having a therapy dog? Yeah, so um, dogs in general, if you want them to be well behaved, need lots of training. Um, but their training is different. So as a therapy dog, their job is to make people feel safe and happy and calm, which means you have to teach them to do things make others feel that way. So sometimes people like dogs and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they prefer small dogs or large dogs. So you have to think about all those things. Um, so for Harley as uh, a therapy dog, she needs to know how to um, sit and stay. She has to be respectful and well-mannered and not taking food from people or not jumping on them. Um, she has to be calm even in the middle of a fire alarm um, or even in the middle of somebody being really sad or angry or upset. So um, a therapy dog, the biggest piece you have to remember is that they have to be calm even if a ball is rolling across the floor. So it's a little bit different than having a dog of your own. What are the pros and cons of having a therapy dog in the classroom? Well, I'll start with the cons because there's not a great deal of them. She does get thirsty. Um, we also have to let her out to use the restroom a couple of times a day. So those are the two big cons is that she has some basic needs that need to be met. Um, the pros, there's a lot of pros to it. Um, the biggest thing is she really makes people happy. So um, she follows directions. Um, she makes people feel good. Sometimes even if there are people that are feeling worried or anxious or upset, Scientists actually believe that dogs can smell how people are feeling. So sometimes when even Mrs. Downing doesn't realize that's going on for a student, she'll go over and just poke her nose at him and it looks like she's saying hi. Um, so I feel like dogs can actually help people with those feelings. Um, she does it in a way that makes everybody feel like they're her best friend. She then she'll, she'll do it for you. See Miss Copeland is our principal and the owner of Sawyer. As principal, how does how do therapy dogs impact the school environment? What I see is just her presence. She, uh, a therapy dog gives a calming presence to the kids because when um, students and teachers pet her, that kind of gives the kids a calming sense. So it allows them to start their day. I'm off on the right foot. If they see Harley in the pod, I know it does the same thing for me. And our kindergarten teachers specifically say that she's their stress relief because when they see her face, they smile. And then when they pet her, it also calms them. I feel like therapy dogs or just dogs in general, um, if they are well behaved and have a calm demeanor the way that Sawyer does and Harley does, I think that they're very beneficial. At our school, therapy dogs help teachers and students by keeping them calm, being a friend, and making them smile. We love having Harley and Sawyer. Sit up. Speak.